Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, hey, hey y'all. Welcome back to Lisa Michelle. I'm way beyond the scale. Well, I have hit officially week 60 of the 0.5 milligram Ozempic. I really think it slowed down some, and I know I've stretched my stomach out some. I'm not eating a palm size amount anymore, and the 0.5 seems like mm, it's not doing anything really anymore, but maybe if I go back to my palm size amount of food, that'll help. So we're going to see what we can do this week, but um, two weeks ago, I was 163.4. Then last week I was 165 even. And then this week I am 166. 166.8, which is almost 167. So it's a steady going up. But I'm still here. And I think if I wasn't going to Planet Fitness, y'all, I don't know what. But I am very active and I do work out every other day. I'll be going in the morning and I do my exercise right here, and I do stretches here and everything, and I'm feeling good and I'm okay. Yes, I've been eating some things that are not on my plan. I've been doing it for over a year, and I could literally say I'm tired. But I know I do want to wean off of the Ozempic. You know, if you start eating back the way you used to eat, then you're going to get what you got before you started eating the way you're supposed to eat when you lose weight, but... I'm good. My clothes are still fitting, thank God. But um, my page is transparent, like I always say. And I want to give you all the low down and the good and the bad. It's not really bad. It's just different. And what's um, different, um, I have a food addiction. And I know this. And it's time for Lisa to go grocery shopping, number one. I don't have anything in the house that I would be eating. And I need to keep myself full of water I'm not drinking enough liquid I need to be able to eliminate and I already have issues like that anyway I don't need no extra help with not drinking a liquid so yeah but I had a really good day Gigi made spaghetti for art club and guess what <laughs> big old giant batch of spaghetti with uh, ground turkey and sausages up in it and stuff and I didn't have any of it. I did have a chunk of cornbread. I had Handel's ice cream today. I had a little bit of salad. Mm -hmm, I think that's it. Uh, the owner, Jeannie, of Handel's ice cream came today because we know her. Her and her husband. We just met her husband today. Really super cool people and um, they brought uh, 24 little small ice creams like that, um, free for the women in art club, They're reaching out to the community, thanking us. And Gigi and I didn't have any of that because Jeannie said, well, my son was supposed to um, pack 28 of them. I asked him to put some extra in there. She said, why? Well, I didn't check that bag. He 21, he just turned 21. You know, they don't think. Um, he packed only 24, so we had enough for everybody that was in there, you know, minus Gigi and I. So she said, well, come on down to, um, Handel's Ice Cream, and I'll be there for a good while. You know, let me know you're coming, blah, blah, blah. And I will give you and Gigi, um, a waffle cone bowl of our newest flavor, which is peanut butter and jelly. Why well, it tastes just like peanut butter and jelly? I'm like, my God. So I had that for um, my heave ho, I do need to go tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, and get my premier protein shake because I have that in the morning and coffee and I, that's my um, official breakfast and I know that's like eliminating some of the food that I would ordinarily have, so I need to get back to eating every four hours. I'm bored, but guess what? I would rather be bored and healthy, so... I know I'm off track, y'all, and I just want you to know Lisa's off track, but Lisa gonna get it together. Lisa don't got no time to play, play, okay, okay? Yeah, so I'm doing all right. I will be calling my doctor, too, sometime tomorrow, 
in making an appointment and I need to also get a nutritionist. I need help with my meal planning and things that I know I should be having and keep things that are good for me in my home. I haven't been bringing anything in here, but I still managed to find a way to get to something I know I'm not supposed to be eating. So yeah, and a shout out to that nice Miss Janice. I know that you just love me and I love you too. And oh, Lisa, you're not gonna wait to look good. I look, I look okay to me, huh? But um, yes, I've gained weight and I'm here to tell you I have, I ain't hiding nothing, it's my page. So I'm doing, I'm doing good. Oh, you don't want to know about that. But I will be um, going to Planet Fitness in the morning and doing me. Probably make an accountability video. I've been enjoying the time lapse here lately. The time lapse is really funny. Um, it's like only 39, 20 seconds or something of footage. And child, it'll be a whole 45 minutes to an hour workout that I'm actually doing. But sped up, it's not that long. So... You can go to Lisa Michelle Beyond the Scale on Instagram, and you can go see some of my sped up time lapse videos. They're really cute. They're funny too. And I have been drawing and painting. Here's what I started today. She even has a bird there. I'm not done yet. Of course, I have to. I have to paint it. So she's cute, y'all. Watercolors, I like watercolors, they're flowy and easy. This one, I just absolutely love, I'm not done yet. I like to look on the bird's face because he looks stuck up. Ah. So yeah, so that's that one. So I will be hooking her up and everything. So yeah, that's what I've been doing today. And enjoying art club and a shout out to, um, Jamie A.B. Community Gallery's curator of the A.B. Community Art Gallery. And he came today. We blessed him with a lot of donations and everything for teaching us a, a, a course in drawing and one, two, and three-point perspective and shading and all these things that I didn't get to do because I'm one of the instructors of Art Club and I don't get to do anything on Art Club Day. I'm just there for the... For the people and I do so love it so when I come home every single evening when I come home I'm doing art I ain't got time to play this is what I do and I'll be relaxing and stuff this is how I unwind got dishes soaking in the sink so I can wash those I have cat litter to clean up I have vacuuming to do I have a bath to take pajamas to put on hot tea to drink and relaxing I can do a little bit of stretching just maybe before I take that bath, y'all. Yeah, so we'll see what happens um, next week. I'll keep you updated. I don't know whether here nor there. I'm going to um, let you know what's going on, what's jumping off. So I will keep you all posted. So this is week 60. And I'm one sixty-six. So I got the six, 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 six. Well, I will see you good people later. On the flip side, I'm going to go do me, y'all. <laughs> I thank you so much for my new subscribers and everything. Last I checked, I was um, up to 363 subscribers. And I thank you so very, very much for believing in me and following my story. And yes, we all have problems. If I can do them and admit it, certainly you can. I'm not perfect. I ain't walked on water when I woke up this morning. I never have. <laughs> Yeah, but this page um, holds me accountable, whether I've lost weight or I've gained weight or whatever's going on with me. I like to be honest, you all are following my journey. And guess what? Part of your journey are the not so glamorous part of it all, you know, and wearing your nice smaller clothes and stuff. I'm still wearing my smaller clothes, but I can't wait. And I need to be able to uh, document that I did and I keep accountability for what I've been doing with me and child Lisa been stepping out on the wild side. So I'm on step. Yeah. 
I'm going to get me some nice keto recipes and everything that I always pass out to my niece, Monica. Shout out to Monica Lenz. You can go and follow her journey, her weight loss journey on Instagram. Also on um, YouTube. On YouTube, I believe it's Monica Lenz. But on Instagram, it's Ode. O-D-E. Ode to Monica M. O N I K A Monica. So she's doing keto and she's doing really well. And she just started going back to Planet Fitness. And she told me that I was motivating her to go ahead and get back in the gym. I'm almost 58. I'll be 58 next month. And I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling amazing still. So I want to continue to hold on to that feeling. So I know what I need to do, y'all. I've been on the wild side. So, anywho, I will be back and give you a good report. Maybe I'll have a better report for myself and my goals for next week. So, hang in there and see what's going to happen. I'll be trying to post some more videos throughout the week. Okay. So, y'all come and check back with me and I will check you all later on the flip side. Peace.